What's up, everybody? You probably saw the title. You know what this is about. It's about this monster. Oh, yeah. This is all about the ZWO ASI 2600 MC Pro. This is a fat This is a 26 megapixel one-shot color camera. Cooled one as well. I started out astrophotography with a mono sensor, the ASI 1600 MM Pro. Uh, and this thing is tiny compared to this beast of a camera. Like the height, the width, everything. Even weighs a little bit, but not as much with a filter wheel. A color camera is just amazing. It's just so fun. You, you just, one picture of color, yay, that's so good. And especially with a Hyperstar. That's what I was shooting on uh, last night. This handles cooling very well, even though it says it can go uh, 35 degrees Celsius below ambient. It went down last night uh, 20 degrees using only 30% of its power. That means if you don't try to push the cooling too much, you're not gonna uh, use too much power to actually cool it. Uh, it really can go with 50%, it could go more than 20 degrees below ambient. So if you're shooting in a cold location, you're not gonna have some, any power problems at all. I tested this out before I went out in the field, uh, just to see the dark current, just to see M-Glow, how it actually handles everything. Uh, darks look good though, They I did find out there's some striking, random stripes in the image. This is the first time I'm, I'm using one shot color, so maybe that's uh, a normal dark, I have no idea. Um, but there is basically zero amp glow. I actually, uh, when I processed Orion, um, I didn't even use any dark spices or flats, it just made the image worse. So I didn't want to uh, even try to make that work, I just did it without them and uh, it turned out well, it turned out really well. Now at 26 megapixels, the file sizes are quite big. They're 51 megapixels, so be prepared to have enough storage uh, throughout your session. Last night was cold, it was five degrees out. We went out to a dark sky location. It was portal class three, and it was five degrees Celsius outside. It was tough, but it was a great night. The vis visibility was awesome and we got to take some awesome pictures. Shooting Orion is always difficult, just because of that bright core. So I had to do two sets of images. Uh, one set with two minute subs, and another set with 10 second subs, just to bring in that core. I've always wanted to shoot Orion, like, properly, and I was never able to get that shot. Mostly because a lot of the times I had to cut the imaging session short, uh, just didn't work out, and I couldn't go out and shoot. This was my night and I'm really, really happy with the result, especially using this beast of a camera. We did have a moon for the first part of the night. It's set around 10.30 p.m., and it was about 30% illuminated, so it didn't bother us too much, but the Orion shots you're about to see were shot with the moon up in the sky. Right, so just before I show you the final image, I need to emphasize this is zero darks, zero bias, zero flats. This is just light frames stacked and processed in Pixel and Set in Photoshop. Uh, this is all I have for now. If you like the video, please like it. If you want to see more, subscribe and comment down below. Tell me what you think, and I hope you have clear skies and great images in the future.